So good morning. I've had a couple of requests for this video, just a disclaimer. I'm not a YouTuber, not a streamer, don't do any of that. Um, but I've put together a speedrun team for dragons, working on a speedrun team for spiders. Um, I love speedrunning. I think it's the, the climax of the game for me. If you can get your speed teams and you can get everything done quicker, your tournaments, your events. Uh, I'm not a whale, I don't have a very big account. Um, Great Hall is, as you can see, it's got a bit of accuracy, crit damage, because I've got some Void Champs. Let's get into it. What the Dragon team is. I'll show you how fast we go, I'll show you it's not a fluke. So my record time, I don't know if you saw it, was 51 seconds. It doesn't always do that, I think it's animation speed. Um, and sometimes with Sia, she's got a chance to take an extra turn, so I'll slow you down. So I'm running Tyrell, you could run War Maiden. I've got Seer, Renegade, Mausoleum Mage, Frozen Banshee. So damage for the waves, cooldown reset, brings the buffs for Seer to steal, which boosts their damage, and Frozen Banshee to take care of the dragon. A lot of people are gonna have these champs. The legendaries here. You can see the defense comes down, break defense, and then Zia stole the buffs and did the nuke. Now Renegade's gonna reduce the turn meters. What we want now is Renegade to die, because if she's taking turns on the dragon, that's gonna slow us down. He got an extra turn, so that's gonna have to slow us down a little bit more again, but nothing can do about that. Now Banshee comes in with a frozen blight, gets those poisons up, try to get about five stacks up before the first um, shield whatever this is, purple bar goes down. The dragon's not going to place a stun. The frozen banshee lays out so much damage, he never gets to do the stun move. You see, our guys are not even close to dying. Banshee's laying those poisons. Like I said, we were going to be a little bit slower because of a couple of the extra turns here or there. We're still under a minute, I believe. Just just under a minute. So there's a little bit of RNG in that. Um, I'll show you another run just to show you how it unfolded. So you're looking for Tayrell to lay his decreased defense. Like that. Sia burns off the buffs and we're through. Same again. So this time Renegade to reduce the cool meters. Turn meters. We got four buffs on everybody. But he's down. But the second wave goes down because Sia's put the weaken up as well as the decreased defense, and also they're running um, Apothecary, so you've got the speed boost on people. And that means she's got that buff to steal. She needs a bit of accuracy on her to get that. I've got her about 180 accuracy, so she can steal that every time. There you go. Look at Banshee laying those poisons. It's going down a little bit quicker this time. Well, we're talking seconds here, we're not, we're not too bothered if it's 53 seconds or 55 or 52 seconds, all pretty good. Oh, okay, so let's run through the team for you guys. So, stars of the show, we'll start off with Sia. Um, she's not in great gear, not the worst, but not amazing. Look at the total stats. Um, so, you're looking at the critical damage, that's what she's about. She doesn't scale off attack as well as you would imagine, um, but she does scale amazingly off crit damage. So stack that as much as you can. So I get a bit from a great haul and get some from the gear. You really want those crit damage gloves and you need to get your crit rate um, from your sub stats really. Uh, speed, she's the second slowest on the team at 149. That's achievable for almost any of you. And 183 accuracy because I want her stealing the speed buff from the second wave just to ensure that second wave goes down. Um, so that's why she's got a bit of uh, debuff accuracy. Masteries, um, I didn't even complete them all, but I only wanted this extra crit damage. That's what you need to be going for. So a decent build gets the job done for me. Um, she's booked. She needs those books. Not gonna lie. Um, and you can see it's just five star pieces really. Um, just sort of threw together what I had. So it's not, you know, everything's got crit rate and crit damage on it um, where I can. I could get better rolls, definitely need a crit damage amulet. 
I put an accuracy banner on her. Um, and that could probably be an attack ring, but I got a good attack roll on it, so I've kept it. Uh, the next star of the show, Banshee, I use her in my clan boss team. I run a speed comp because I don't have any um, counter attackers and I don't have unkillable. So you can see she's pretty fast, um, 206. Not the fastest, but fast enough. You want her to go a couple of times before the dragon um, does. So he does his, his inhale, so he actually gets like three, three goes. So Banshee should have five or six stacks up. She sometimes gets resisted, even though she's got 260 debuff accuracy. I don't really know how to fix that. Uh, maybe I'll go a little bit more debuff accuracy on her. Sometimes she'll lay one stack of poison instead of twos, and that can slow you down slightly. But you know, we're not talking much. Uh, I want her to survive any hits that the dragon doesn't do. So 45k health, two and a half k defense. A game because she runs my clan boss team. Um, currently two key nightmare with that team, so they tend to last um, about seven or eight minutes on clan boss. Anyway, that's a tangent we don't need to be on. Fully booked because she needs it. And why wouldn't you? Just quite easy to come across the box. Um, I didn't even fall again. I haven't finished all my masteries. Um, this is where I have gone. War masters are good for a bit of extra damage. Okay, so next we've got Renegade. Um, she's in a shield set, bring an extra buff for Seer to steal. Um, she has some books, but you don't need them. Uh, it's all about this skill anyway, reducing the cooldowns for the second wave. Uh, she has some masteries, but you don't need them. Um, all you need on Renegade is 130 speed, you want her to go last. Uh, fairly low health, because you want her to die on the second wave, so she's not taking turns on the dragon. And you need her to do her A3 on that second wave. So. You clear the first wave, she doesn't get a go. On the second wave, she gets a go, she uses her A3, they focus her, she dies. She's done her job. A Mausoleum Mage, I've got him going quite fast, um, just to keep everybody alive during the dragon phase, but generally if you've got someone bringing three buffs, some of those are gonna be shields or heals or something positive. <clears throat> He doesn't need any accuracy, doesn't need any damage, <coughs> needs to survive. That's it. Uh, who's last? Tayrel. Tayrel can be swapped out for War Maiden. Um, he needs decent enough accuracy to lay his break defense. I have I use him on my clan bus team, um, but I did put crit rate gloves on here, whereas on my clan bus team there would be defense gloves. Um, just because I want to ensure that little bit of extra damage coming off of him for the first wave, really. Um, sometimes uh, I think they've got a Tyrell and he, he can survive the first wave if your Tyrell or your War Maiden, if you're using War Maiden, doesn't bring enough damage on that first hit. So he's not hitting crazy hard, it's fairly low crit damage. Let's have a look at his stats. He goes quite fast, as you would expect. Uh, is fairly well geared, booked, and all the masteries. I think that's the whole team. So if you made it this far, well done. Just want to say thank you for watching. Um, that's my dragons team. Uh, I'm working on a spider team at the moment, so I can clear spider with a burn strategy using ultimate Gaelic at the moment. But I've got two cold hearts, uh, a renegade, a paragon, uh, and I just pulled Aina in the last event um, and she can lay defense and weaken um, so I'm just working on a speed team to clear spider uh, my current best is somewhere around 29 seconds on that so but it's not 100% yet but when I get that down and get Aina fully booked uh, I'll put another video a little guide out showing that team till then see you later thanks for watching